X Video Motion Compensation, is an extension of the X Video extension for the X Window system. The XVMC API allows video programs to offload portions of the video decoding process to the GPU video hardware. In theory this process should also reduce bus bandwidth requirements. Currently, the supported portions to be offloaded by XVMC onto the GPU are motion compensation and inverse discrete cosine transform for MPEG2 video. XVMC also supports offloading decoding of MoComp, IDCT, and VLD for not only MPEG2 but also MPEG4 ASP video on via Unichrome hardware. XVMC was the first Unix equivalent of the Microsoft Windows DirectX Video Acceleration API. Mac OS X also includes MPEG2 acceleration capabilities, but Apple has chosen not to expose that API for use outside their own DVD video player application. Popular software applications known to take advantage of XVMC include Player, Myth TV, and Xine. Device drivers each hardware video GPU capable of XVMC video acceleration requires an X11 software device driver to enable these features. Equals hardware manufacturers equals NVIDIA, there are currently three X11 NVIDIA drivers available, a 2D only open source but obfuscated driver maintained by NVIDIA called NV, a proprietary binary driver by NVIDIA, and an open source driver based on reverse engineering of the binary driver developed by the Linux community called Nuvo. Nuvo is not pursuing XVMC support, the 2D NV driver does not support XVMC, and the official proprietary binary driver by NVIDIA only supports MPEG2 offloading on hardware up to and including the GE4 7000 series. Via VIA provides open source device drivers for some of its VIA Unichrome hardware, supporting offloading of MPEG2 and MPEG4 ASP video. Thanks to VLD level of decoding VIA offloads much more decoding tasks from CPU than GPU supporting IDCT or MoComp levels only. Keep in mind that not all devices are supported and there are some other caveats. Intel Intel provides official open source device drivers which supports MPEG2 offloading on Intel's 8xx-9xx range of integrated graphics chips. ATI AMD, although ATI was the first manufacturer to provide MPEG2 acceleration in their graphic boards with the RAID 128 GPU, it has never provided documentation on how to use it. So no XVMC is available, and will probably never be. XVMC is supported on Radeon 4000 cards by Catalyst driver from 8.10 and higher at an experimental level. Motion compensation support in other ATI AMD hardware is planned for the future. Matrox, there are no device drivers which support XVMC on Matrox hardware. S3, binary device driver by S3 only supports MPEG2 offloading in initial 2.0.16 driver on Chrome 20 GPUs. The proprietary driver which was developed by Cooper Yuan accelerates MPEG2 decoding at IDCT level. XVMC API Technical Overview, this is from X Video Motion Compensation, API Specification V. 1.0 equals XV port equals XVMC extends the XVideo extension and makes use of the familiar concept of the XV port. Ports have attributes that can be set and queried through XV. In XVMC ports can also have hardware motion compensation contexts created for use with them. Ports which support XV images can be queried for the list of XVMC SU or FACE types they support. If they support any XVMC SU or FACE types an XVMC CONTEXT can be created for that port. Equals XVMC CONTEXT equals, XVMC CONTEXT describes the state of the motion compensation pipeline. An individual XVMC CONTEXT can be created for use with a single port, surface type, motion compensation type, width and height combination. For example, 
a context might be created for a particular port that does MPEG2 motion compensation on 720x484-20 surfaces. Once the context is created, referencing it implies the port, surface type, size and the motion compensation type. Contexts may be direct, or indirect. For indirect contexts the X display server renders all video using the data passed to it by the client. For direct contexts the client libraries render the video with little or no interaction with the X display server. Equals XVMCS or FACES equals XVMCS or FACES are buffers into which the motion compensation hardware can render. The data in the buffers themselves are not client accessible and may be stored in a hardware specific format. Any number of buffers can be created for use with a particular context. Equals video pipeline equals XVMC provides video acceleration starting at one of two places in the video pipeline. Acceleration starting at the first point, which we shall call the motion compensation level, begins after the inverse quantization and IDCT at the place where motion compensation is to be applied. The second point, which we shall call the IDCT level, begins before the IDCT just after the inverse quantization. Equals rendering equals, rendering is done by presenting the library with a target XVMCSU or FACE and up to two reference XVMCSU or FACES for the motion compensation, a buffer of 8x8 blocks and a command buffer which describes how to use the 8x8 blocks along with motion compensation vectors to construct the data in the target XVMCSU or FACE. When the pipeline starts at the IDCT level, XV will perform the IDCT on the blocks before performing the motion compensation. A function is provided to copy overlay a portion of the XVMCSU or FACE to a drawable with arbitrary scaling. Equals XVMCSUBPICTURES equals XVMCSUBPICTURES are separate surfaces that may be blended with the target surface. Any number of XVMCSUBPICTURES may be created for use with a context. Both back end and front end subpicture behavior are supported. Software support XVMC acceleration is supported in Player, Myth TV. Sign. Processes that could be accelerated, even though XVMC currently only supports hardware acceleration of motion compensation and inverse discrete cosine transform additional video decoding processes could be passed on to modern GPUs which could be accelerated via GPU fragment programs. XVMC could be extended in the future to support the same processes as the newer competing hardware video acceleration APIs like VDPAU. XV bar, and VAAPI, motion compensation, inverse discrete cosine transform, inverse teal scene 3 2 and 2 2 pull down correction, inverse modified discrete cosine transform, in loop D blocking filter, intra frame prediction, inverse quantization, variable length decoding, more commonly known as slice level acceleration, spatial temporal deinterlacing, and automatic interlace progressive source detection. Bitstream processing. Current limitations, besides not matching all of the features and function of DXVA, and lacking support for other video formats than MPEG2 in Linux device drivers from Intel and NVIDIA, the XVMC API specification version 1.0 currently also has these other limitations. Bob and Ownfield are the only daintalacing methods that work with XVMC. Picture in picture does not work with XVMC. Stepping through the video frame by frame can cause artifacts with XVMC. Editing a video is difficult to impossible with XVMC activated. Lacking network transparency in the XVMC API, lacking the ability for the client application to be completely independent of which client side library needs to be used. A project called VAAPI is underway to develop a more modern video acceleration API which will support the video acceleration features of modern GPUs. See also, X Video Extension, X Window System, MIT SHM, the MIT Shared Memory Extension for X11, Direct X Video Acceleration API, Microsoft Windows equivalent to XVMC, Video Acceleration API, OpenMax AL, 
a royalty-free cross-platform media abstraction API from the Kronos Group, X-Video Bitstream Acceleration, VDPAU, Distributed Codec Engine as a Texas Instruments API for the Video Codec Engine in OMAP-based embedded systems, Video Decode Acceleration Framework is Apple Inc. SAPI for hardware accelerated decoding of H264 on Mac OS X. Video Toolbox is an undocumented API from Apple Inc. for hardware accelerated decoding on Apple TV and Mac OS X 10.5 or later. Open Video Decode a Euro and new open cross platform video acceleration API from AMD. References External links, Xorg Foundation, the XFREE86 Project, Inc., FreeDesktop.org, Open Chrome Project, Open Chrome Supported Hardware. The Unichrome Project, XVMC at MythTV's Wiki.